this is auntie's big mistake i've gotten a couple of questions about minimalism about slow living about all of this lifestyle stuff and i thought it's time for me to start bringing these questions not only just answering them but bringing them to you because i love to have your input so here's auntie's big mistake uh, K.M. wrote to me, I received a large decorative vase as a housewarming gift from my aunt. We live quite far apart and have very different tastes and with a considerable age gap between us. She tries her best to give thoughtful gifts, but this particular vase is much larger than I would ever need or find a proper place for in my home. I display it occasionally out of a sense of obligation. I feel guilty about the idea of giving it to my best friend even though number one, it wasn't an expensive item. It was a big box store. Number two, I've had it for over a year now. And number three, it doesn't bring me any real joy or satisfaction. How can I overcome this feeling of regret and feel better about passing it along to someone who might appreciate it more? So I'd love to hear your answer, but what I'm gonna say, and I'd love to hear you guys input is, you know, the core thing about minimalism is that we're only keeping things that add value and bring joy to our life. This face was a very kind gesture and it's clear that it doesn't really serve a purpose in your life. So if you pass it on and you prevent it from becoming clutter that distracts you from things that you appreciate, that's the best thing for you. So instead of feeling guilty, view it as an opportunity to lighten your load, create more open space. That's physically and that's mentally. The vase has had its time and now can find a new home where someone would cherish it more, someone who would really love it. Your aunt's intentions were good, but dwelling on an unused item, it really contradicts the whole minimalist principles. So at the end of the day, the positive energy and the happiness you'll gain will outweigh the fleeting guilt. Give it away, be at peace with your decision. Your aunt will more, you know, would want you to have your living space filled with something that you want and need and like. The focus on, you know, framing the situation as a minimalist or a slow living person makes it very important that you take a moment to really figure out what you want to do. Thanks for listening to this and Take a moment to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. This is our coffee break here. And definitely comment on what you think would be the best move to eliminate guilt about a gift that you don't really want, don't really like, and don't really need. I'll see you next time.